Hey fellow tennis nerds, today I wanted to talk about Donate Rackets, the American brand. I received three from Norway, my friends over at racket1.no, uh, very good guys. These new Donate frames, there were three, uh, are all unibody, meaning that they don't have a pallet or anything like that. That's all one piece, which is an interesting technology. They did have problems with the previous pallets, I think, so this is probably a good idea from a construction standpoint. I'm not sure if that costs more to create them or so, but but it definitely feels like a more solid uh, piece of uh, racket right now. It had some quality control issues before. Uh, Doné rackets these days are famous for their arm comfort. They really provide excellent comfort. They usually have lower stiffness ratings. They have this uh, foam core where they have a filled core, with sometimes with three, four, five, six layers. And that's what's been called hexacore and uh, tricore and all these... Uh, terminologies they've used but overall you can expect great comfort from the Ney rackets it's one of those brands that really focus on that along with pro Canix. so should they should get an applause for that and i must say that they are actually that they actually are arm friendly so i received three rackets with three different power categories the first one was the donny pro 197 it's the most control oriented one uh, it has uh, low flex, uh, they don't list the flex ratings, but it's a 97 square inch racket. So it's a kind of a similar to a pro staff uh, in specs, the beam width and stuff like that. As you can see the specs on the screen here, but they are uh, flexier, so they definitely are a bit softer. You, it's not as easy to generate a lot of power from these frames, but the feeling is very nice on impact. You can string them with a stiff poly and still expect good comfort and i felt like this one was a little bit more solid a little bit stiffer than the previous generation because the previous generation i tried and reviewed on this channel was a little bit too flexible for me i couldn't generate any power and it felt unstable at times this one feels better and i think it's it's a definite improvement my buddy matthew who plays usually with the pure arrow vs really loved this stick he was actually taken by it the, this one is a little bit more difficult to use for me. Uh, the specs were pretty much spot on. The swing weight I really like of this frame. It was 326. Uh, strong uh, with uh, MSV Cofocus Hex Ultra, a stiffer poly that they put in for me actually. And um, yeah, just excellent uh, feel from the frame. Uh, definitely flexible so if you don't like flexible frames these are not for you a either of them this is a flexible brand but you can still generate some pop although the power levels Stop. will be lower than with stiffer frames they might claim otherwise but i feel like it's still a little bit lower power but a guy like matthew he can generate his own pace so for him it was just a, a win and he really enjoyed playing with this frame I felt it was a little bit difficult, a little bit smaller sweet spot at times, but overall I can see the appeal for the right player with this frame. Definitely control oriented stick uh, and the swing weight, it was super nice. Uh, definitely the kind of sweet spot I like when it comes to swing weight. So definitely a good frame. The second frame we tested is the Formula 100. This was my favorite before the in the previous generation and it's still going strong it's a 100 square inch racket 1619 pattern they call it their pure drive killer uh, it doesn't have the same power level as a pure drive but it's not far behind considering that the swing weight of mine was pretty high so this one's strong with the same string msv cofocus hex ultra 125 had a swing weight of 334 so it's a little high for this kind of frame and I've seen the same with the recent Pure Drive when I, I tried that. And sometimes with a 100 square inch racket, you need a little bit more maneuverability. And I felt like this swing weight was a bit high. When I gave it to Shi or uh, Matthew, they both liked it a lot. They really felt like they could generate some power thanks to the swing weight and love the feel of the frame. So uh, I probably feel I was a little bit alone in thinking that the swing weight was a bit high. They didn't really comment on that. But they're more advanced players so i i felt like this one a little bit more difficult to swing and to get around uh, on impact but maybe it's a quality control issue maybe it's supposed to be a higher swing weight to compensate for the more flexible feel but it's an interesting frame this done formula 100 and uh, the previous one well had a little bit lower swing weight so in my personal opinion i prefer that one but uh, these guys both liked the extra power that the swing weight brought and didn't complain about sluggishness or issues with maneuverability. So 
that's good also could hit some some pretty good serves but on some shots it, it did feel a little bit slow even to matthew so the uh, swing weight was a little high that was kind of my only real peeve with this one it's not the same raw power as a pure drive or other brands power frames but a uh, better comfort 100 percent better comfort so that's the whole uh, take out the third racket i got was the donne all wood 102 and this is the most flexible frame and the easiest one to use it's a 102 square inch racket it comes in 300 or 285 gram versions i have the i got the 300 which was good uh, swing weight very maneuverable 311 with the strings uh, which is more towards what i like but a little bit low maybe but I could still generate something with this frame and uh, the 102 square inch racket didn't feel like 102, it felt more like 100. Uh, I felt like this one was much better in control than the previous generation. Now had much, uh, for me it was much easier to actually get enough spin, get enough maneuverability from the frame. The other one felt like the ball just catapulted from the string bed a little bit too much, the previous generation. This one I felt straight at home with from the get go and a very nice relatively easy to use frame actually there there is some power from the head size but the flex is there so it's very very flexible so uh, but it's not that noticeable with the right string i feel like it's not that it's uh you know feels like a wooden racket but it has good feel as a bit of a specific sound when you're playing with this kind of low flex frames you might hear in the video but this was my winner uh, the old wood, I, the one I like the most, and I also think the one that was most improved. But I can see why the Pro 197 was liked a lot more by Matthew, because I felt like that one was also a, a bigger improvement of the previous generation. Did not feel quite the same uh, excitement about the new formula. Uh, although these were all liked rackets by, by all of the playtesters, uh, maybe not like outright winners in competition with, with many other frames on the market, but if you or looking into comfortable frames if you're looking into all about comfort you don't have that many choices on the market to be honest you have perhaps the gravity line from head uh, you have the clash from wilson you have the pro kenex frames and these are also very nice now uh, I, there are a few other frames as well i will talk about in an upcoming comfort racket video but um nice rackets donate that's it for this one i hope you found it useful if you want to support tennis nerd please check out patreon.com slash tennis nerd or by buying something through the links in the description. Those are my affiliates. I get a small commission. If you do big thanks for that, it goes into making tennis nerd better. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Please subscribe, have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.